Heidi Ho there, friends and neighbors. Bobby here today. Hey folks, today we have a our little Ford short block engine here, and I'm gonna show you how to use steel stamps to mark your connecting rods before you disassemble the engine, and I'll talk about the importance of it as well. So let's talk first of all about a set of steel stamps. We got this set here from Harbor Freight, relatively inexpensive, I think it's like 15 bucks, okay? And if you'll look at them, it's a series of letters and numbers and so forth. And you can take these and actually smack it with a hammer and leave that impression on the metal that you're working on, okay? So stay tuned and I'll show you how we mark this engine. Okay, folks, with the engine flipped upside down, we're gonna go ahead and mark all four of our uh, connecting rods here. I mean, if you, if you had a six cylinder or a V8, it would be the same thing. You'd just be marking six or eight instead of four. So from the front of the engine, number one's always closest to the front. So it's one, two, three, and four. And my stamps here that I have are one, two, three, and four. And I also have a V here, okay? A V, because I'm gonna use it as an arrow. <clears throat> so let me set these down just a second. And I'm gonna go ahead and take the V and mark all these caps and I'm going to do it in such a fashion to where the the point of the V I'm making it like an arrow okay I want to know that the front of this uh, that this connecting rod cap when it's bolted in place this way that is pointing toward the front of the engine it's just something to kind of uh, make it a no-brainer if going back together with it okay so we're put we put an arrow there okay we're gonna go here on number two and we are going to smack it again. So we've got an arrow there on number two. We have number three cylinder here. We're gonna smack it, we've got an arrow there. We'll come back over here to number four. And I'll back off the camera a little bit, I don't wanna hit it. Okay, so there we go. As you can see, we've got a little arrow. So we know which way we're going. Now I have already marked number one cylinder on this engine, okay? Come back around here and thing. We can show the good people that on the end of the cap, there's a number one, okay? And right over here on the side, come around this way. I'm gonna shine the light here <clears throat> on the side of the cap, right here where my finger is. And you should be able to see that there's a number one here and there's a number one right there, okay? It's very important that uh, the two most important things, you want these connecting rods to go back exactly where they come off the engine, and you definitely want the cap to be turned the correct way, okay? That's why we're gonna mark one side, and we know when we go back together that this cap has to be turned this way. If you turn it the other way, there's a good chance the line bore of it is gonna be incorrect, and you're gonna end up chewing up a bearing, okay? So that's why you want to mark these. So number one's marked. We got our V for an arrow going toward the front. We got a number one on the end here just to have it there to see real easy. And then on this side of it, uh, pick a side. It doesn't really matter. I just like to go in the um, direction of counting. You know, one, two, three, four. I see that they're all turned this way. I automatically kind of know which way it goes without even looking at the arrow. So number one is marked. Let's spin number two around here. Can, they, can you see them doing that? Back off just a little bit, Daniel. All right, so number two right here, we're actually going to mark yeah, this side of it. So we're gonna go ahead and turn it on around. I'm gonna go ahead and mark the cap and then mark the side of it here. So let me find the number two here. And take our hammer, here's number two. We're gonna turn it this way. Smack the end of the cap. And I actually probably should have hit that just a little bit harder. Let me try it again. I didn't quite get the hole too. I didn't hold it up there square enough. That looks a little bit better. Now let's see if I can do a little bit better here on the side. So as you can see here, Nathaniel, there's a two right there. And right there. So let me shine the light so the good people can see that. And as you can see, there's a two right there on both sides. We can read that pretty good. 
and a two on the top here. So we'll move on to number cylinder number three. Let me grab our stamp for that. And here's number three right here. Okay, so let's go up top, make sure we got it turned the right way. And let me rotate this engine. And I've just got a ratchet on the end of the engine here. Notice I've already made the V, which you saw me do that a minute ago. Get back off just a little bit, Nathaniel. All right, so there's our three on the end of the cap. We're gonna come right around here on the side. I'm gonna hold it. I gotta work around this uh, oil pump pipe. We got a stamp there for our three. And let's see if we can get our hands in here and hold it again. And there we go. Hey, we got it, we got it marked on that side as well. Now let me grab number four. And we'll move on to the final cylinder here. Let me move this around and come around here and think this will be a little easier to do this one because we're out of the way of the <clears throat> oil pickup pipe. So we've got our number four here. Let's go ahead and put a four on this cap right there. And once again, on the side as well. And right here as well. Okay. So there we go, guys. I'll let you take a look at that with the light right there. <clears throat> we have a four there, four there. And everything's marked, guys. So now we are, you can bring the camera back up, put it on my face for a minute when we talk to the good people. So that's a very important thing to do when disassembling an engine, getting it ready to go to the machine shop. We, we, we're going to send this one and have it magnafluxed. And if there's no cracks in this block, we're probably going to go ahead and bore it and uh, put a set of pistons in it, pistons, rings, bearings, and um, continue putting our engine back together. So anyway, but... Anytime you're disassembling an engine, you definitely want to mark all your connecting rods and you need to mainly know exactly the way the caps go back on. But for balancing purposes, if this engine was ever balanced, everything needs to go back like it was, okay? So your cylinders, one, two, three, and four, and caps turn the correct way, okay, guys? Just a little helpful tip and uh, just wanted to show this to you today. Thank you for checking out the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check out our other two new channels as well, RJW Financial Coaching and the Personal Body Makeover. And we will see you next time. Have a wonderful day.